Now, this cartoon introduces a couple of themes. First, it reminds us from my first lecture that the early events of nodulation include a conversation between the plant and the bacteria. The plant sends a signal out to the bacteria, the bacteria send a signal back. In the case shown on the left, we're taking a look at alfalfa, Metacago sativa. This plant produces a molecule coated in yellow here, and you'll see the structure in a moment. That signal from the plant to the bacterium is able to trigger gene expression, and we'll talk about that in detail. The result of that gene expression, as I mentioned before, is the production of a nod factor, called here NFSM. That's the nod factor from Cyanorhizobium melolodi. It has a backbone of N-acetylglucosamines, which is modified in the case of Cyanorhizobium melolodi with a 16-carbon N-acyl substitution here, an acetyl, and a sulfate, each shown by a color code. Now, on the right, we have the contrasting example of a cousin, a related legume, P, or Pisum sativum. Here we've got the root of the pea plant. It's creating a flavonoid signal whose structure is slightly different, and I've shown that just by the color coding. That signal uh, uh, triggers Rhizobium leguminous serum, which is the symbiont for pea, to transcribe its nodulation genes. And those encode enzymes that make a nod factor, but it's a slightly different nod factor. The primary difference that I'm showing here, which is not the only difference, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, a primary difference is the nature of the N-acyl substitution. It's eight carbons instead of 16, and it has four unsaturations. So what we see is some specificity. A signal that's specific that goes out from the plant, from alfalfa here, or a slightly different one from P, and the corresponding bacteria which respond to this signal make a slightly different nod factor as shown here. So this conversation, plant to bacteria and back again, already has some of the hallmarks of the host specificity. We're going to talk only about the first part of that conversation. Here I'm showing again the host plant producing a flavonoid signal and that is causing transcription in the bacteria. Now I'd like to focus in on the interaction of the flavonoid with a protein encoded by this gene, NOD-D. NOD-D is a, an activator protein, a part of the Lysar family. Now, what are all of the elements we're going to have to look at? Uh, of course, at a promoter, there's going to be an RNA polymerase. There's going to be a DNA a motif to interact with. In this case, there's an activator. And we wonder, how do these plant signals interact with all of these components in order to achieve transcription? And how does this occur in a specific way? So I'll take a look now uh, first and most specifically at the protein NOD-D. I'll put that here in the context of all of those other components. The red here is showing DNA. All right, so here's the DNA, and what the object of this um, regulation is going to be to achieve transcription of the nodulation genes so that they can then um, make the proteins that synthesize nod factor. At the DNA, we have a promoter, and that's upstream of the nod boxes. We know that nod D binds to the promoter and bends the DNA. I've shown here a model of nod D as a tetramer. We don't know exactly what its form is, but we suspect that it's most likely to be a tetramer, and more work um, in the future, we hope, will elucidate that more precisely. We've shown through genetics that the ability of NOD-D to cause gene expression in bacteria in response to a plant signal requires the chaperonins, GROW-ES and GROW-EL. Also, we found through genetics that this entire system requires the stringent response, that being uh, a response uh, classically to starvation, um, where um, a protein here, uh, REL-A, causes the synthesis of guanosine, tetra, or pentaphosphate, shown here as this um, uh, star. All of that has to interact with RNA polymerase, the machine that's going to interact with DNA and cause template-driven transcription of an mRNA off of the DNA template. 